We are at halftime right now. Uh, first round of the playoffs for the Bears. Second round uh, of the tournament taking on Mediapolis here back at the Little Rose Bowl. And uh, we've got a special player profile as uh, we're trying to get through all of our seniors this year. <laughs> Dylan Butler, the Bulldog, joining us right now. And Dylan, uh, I guess first off, what's it like to know that week one you played a home game? Now all of a sudden here you are in the playoffs playing just your second home game of the year. I mean... Most of the time we got a lot of stuff taken away from us. Like we were barely able to ever play at our home field and being able to play on our home field for this next game, we're going to bring everything to the table. Well, I know that you guys have been bringing a lot uh, as this season has wore on. Started out one and two, able to turn things around and get the district championship up at Dyersville Beckman. What did that mean for you guys knowing that one of those season goals was that district championship and to be able to not check that off the list and be successful with that. Uh, it, it was really amazing when we got it because we didn't know whether or not we were going to get it. And frankly, when we got it, we were just watching film and everyone, even the coaches were excited when we got that. So it was really amazing. So It's a great feeling and uh, gave you that bye week. What was that like not having to necessarily prepare for a game last week, uh, but have a little extra time to maybe rest up and uh, focus on some other things here in practice before getting ready for Meepo this week? It was really nice having a practice, or a couple practices actually, where we could just have a nice break from having to go hard at one another so that way we are ready for our next team. And it was also really weird at the same time because we didn't, really know what to, we were doing on Friday at the beginning of the week. But when Friday came around, it was just a nice practice. Everything was also a lot easier to do during the, that week as well, including conditioning. But we always do conditioning no matter what. So, Well, you're a senior out here uh, in your final season. What are some things that you're trying to do on this practice field to help make this a better football team? I'm just trying to get better myself so that way if I'm like going up against Jeff, I can give him a look so that way he is a, he knows what he's expecting during what, whichever game we have, whether that be this game or our next couple of games. Well, I think one of my favorite memories that uh, I'll keep with me through this whole season, down at Wilton, and you get the call to go in and play defense in the second half. Did you hear your teammates on the sideline? I sure did. <laughs> what was that like for you? It was very weird, yet also motivating at the same time, knowing that I had an entire team behind my back supporting me when I went in, especially since even now I barely know what I'm doing. But, yeah, I, I, tr I at least try. What's that say about this team and how close you guys are with the fact that it doesn't matter if you're a Jeff Bowie that's going to go on and play college football, or if it's you that you just said, you're still learning things. You're still trying to figure things out, but they care about everybody the exact same. It just shows that we're just one big family, that we're all supportive of each other, whether that be on the field or off the field, especially on the field whenever we're supporting one another for our choices and also if we were able to get in and play. Now, following up on that, I like to ask because, you know, we get nicknames from kids a lot and try to figure out where it comes from. What's the story? How did you become the Bulldog? Uh, I got that from, I got my nickname, the Bulldog, from Jason Barnhart. Uh, at first, I thought it was because I was short and stocky, uh, which that is a little bit of it. But also in my four point, I kind of look like I'm a Bulldog <laughs> with my stance. And I'm also able to push out my jaw and lick the top lip of my <laughs> mouth. So, If it wasn't 2020, we'd have you show us. But these masks are in the way. So, well, it's great. Uh, we love to hear some of that and uh, see how things go and uh, your perspective on it. How about uh, some other things? I know that uh, wrestling is one of the things that you like to take part in as well. Uh, what attracted you to being on the wrestling team? Really, it was just one of the coaches like a couple years back who just continuously bothered me about it until I went out and tried it. At first I was a manager for my first three years. This year I'm going to go out and actually be a wrestler. But it wrestling it helps helps anyone who goes out, especially if they're on the football team, so that way they know to stay low and 
also so that way they know that if someone were to try to chop block you, you. It's like he's been listening to me. I've said that a time or two for these offensive linemen. Uh, there's a lot of good things there. So, uh, Dylan, hard to believe it's already your senior year. Uh, before you know it, things are going to be done. You're going to be walking out of here for the last time but next year. Any thoughts on uh, what the future might hold for you after you're done with West Branch? I'm, I think I want to go to Kirkwood to learn a bit more about anatomy so that way I can go to Palmer's. So that way I can get my certificate for doctor of chiropractics because being a chiropractor is something that has really interested me throughout these past couple of years. Excellent. Well, it's uh, some great goals, some good opportunities, uh, some good things lined up for you. I know the focus is going to be on Mediapolis and then hopefully a few more games after that. So, Dylan, thanks very much uh, and uh, best of luck here the rest of the season. Thank you. That is Dylan Butler. We'll be back with more of your halftime right after this. You are listening to the Bearcast at westbranchfootball.com.